So my meta quest pro finally came. Um, and I figure we might as well unbox her. Uh, I think it starts from here. That's it. That's the beginning of it. Let's see how quickly I can do this so you don't have to waste time watching me fumble the box. All right, so this looks like a slider. Yep, it's a slider. Uh, this, if you do not remember, is the replacement for the, uh, well, it's not really a replacement. There isn't really a category that exists for it yet, but um, it's essentially a new tier of VR headset that also does mixed reality uh, through RGB pass-through. And this is a $1,500 headset. Um, I'm gonna put that over there. Oh, there's some stuff here. This is a protective cover in there. So there's like a, you see that? Yeah, okay. And then, um, what else? What else? What else? So as you can see, this is the headset right here. These are the controllers. Um, the interesting thing about the controllers is they actually have their own processors and they have three cameras that they use to see the outside world uh, to be able to determine their position independent of the headset. Um, so that's that was the left one. This is the right controller. Then we've got the headset itself. Um, we've got some things telling you how to connect the controllers and set up the headset um that's the headset right here as you can see just sitting on top of my head um what else what else what else we've got a box here likely of accessories and charging products um there is a dock that this headset comes with uh which i assume is in this as well um so here we have a bunch of cables uh this is a charging brick um yeah these are look like charging cables and some documentation um that i will deal with later and i assume the dock is under here and there it is so the dock this is the dock for the controllers and the headset so you basically set the headset down on here and then the controllers will charge on it as well and then you have the uh, cheapo light blockers. So I bought a different set of light blockers. Uh, like these are left and right light blockers, which turn it into more of like a VR headset. And then um, there's a full light blocker setup. Um, that's like one piece that you can get that, that I think is shipping in November. So, or even December. So we'll see what happens with that, but uh, that's the base. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I might as well just take the headset and grab it and show it to you in more detail. Um, I don't know why I did this in portrait mode, but whatever. Um, so as you can see here, this is the headset. That camera you see in the middle, that's the pass-through camera. And then the other two cameras are for world sensing. And then you have more cameras on the sides for more world sensing, which is a combination of uh, sensing your hands but also sensing your uh, ability to track the world around you so you can see you know, and map out the environment uh, accurately. You've got a Type-C port right here for charging and accessories, I assume. And then on the back, we've got the battery pack right here that counterbalances the weight of the front of the headset so that we can wear it for a longer period of time. We've got a twisty mechanism here. Um, that's for kind of uh, ensuring that you don't have to, uh, you know, adjust it too hard. Um, I'm gonna put it on right now, even with the plastic protectors on the screen, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I think this is an interesting design. Uh, it definitely, you can see everything out in this direction while you're wearing it without the blockers. Um, but it is very comfortable. First intent, you know, first uh, feel. This back part really does feel very comfortable, and so does the front. So. Uh, I think they did a good job there. Um, there. There is a lot of rigidity to the design. I think it would be nice if it was more flexible, um, but that's you know, always a challenge between um, you know having something that's well-built and something that um, is also flexible, So, and that lasts. So that's kind of my first impressions. I see some cooling vents along the top here. Kind of hard to see, but um, yeah, that's kind of my first impressions unboxing. Uh, there's some buttons down here. It looks like volume and power on the bottom. Uh, and we've got 
what look like headphone jacks. I'm not entirely sure. There's some kind of attachments though. I see some pins inside. Um, and then these are the charging pins that I told you about earlier. Um, and then it looks like there's some microphones in the nose, um, which is interesting. And yeah, that's kind of it. Uh, hopefully we'll have a review for you guys fairly soon. And uh, this will be something that probably becomes my primary VR AR device for until the Apple product comes out. But yeah, that's the uh, Meta Quest Pro.